Developments on a high profile court case here in the Queen City. As the trial nears for accused Buffalo police officer Corey Krug, federal prosecutors are seeking to introduce more evidence of alleged excessive force by the officer. Chief Investigator Charlie Specht reports. Federal officials launched an investigation into Buffalo police officer Corey Krug after seven eyewitness news cameras caught him striking this man on Thanksgiving 2014. His trial is set to begin a week from today and includes other cases of alleged police brutality. But federal prosecutors now want to call witnesses from three other, quote, prior bad acts dating back more than 10 years. They include an alleged 2004 assault on a handcuffed arrestee. When prosecutors say Krug stood on the suspect's back, jumped up and down, slammed him against a van, and later used an ice scraper to scrape the suspect's blood off the vehicle. Also included is a 2006 domestic dispute in which prosecutors say Krug punched a handcuffed man in the jaw while he was already in a police car. In response, Krug's attorneys filed papers calling the new allegations, quote, stale and unsubstantiated, and said the government is trying to pile on to beef up a weak case. They say Krug has made nearly 1,700 arrests in his career and has worked all the toughest beats and accepted all the rough assignments, including that Thanksgiving night, which defense attorneys referred to as Drunksgiving, the number one party night of the year. Now, federal judge... Federal Judge Richard J. Arcara will rule on whether the government will be even allowed to introduce this new evidence. That trial is set to begin January 28th. Live in the studio, Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you.